filmed unscripted with Beth and Greer. That's right. We are so fortunate because today we are at one of my favorite stomping grounds, Guaki Margie's, with two of our favorite people. That is Melissa Ponzio and Kenny Alfonso. Yay! Yes. Yay. 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 Hello. And uh, this 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 couple is not only actors, but you guys are a couple in real life partners mm -hmm. for twenty years. Yeah. Insanity Crazy town. So that leads me to you, Kenny. How in the world did you land, Melissa? <laughs> wow. Well. Um, uh, uh, four score and 25 years ago or so, 24 years ago, yeah. I had just come into the market and I, um, I was, we were auditioning for a corporate video and I saw her go into the room and then I went over and she left a headshot so the stalking started then. <laughs> and she walked out and Before I chased Facebook. her. Right, oh, yeah. an actual face. On yeah, an actual face. <laughs> yeah, and, and, there was, and there was something to, you know, not to go into some big faith thing, but I knew that was I had to meet her, and I was recently divorced and recently moved, and so I was going to be bold before Tinder. I chased her out, asked her to lunch or coffee, and and she immediately said, "Well, I'm involved with someone, but we can be friends." Oh. We, were, we were friends for like five years. We booked that job. It was a sexual harassment video where I was harassing him. Yeah. Oh, nice. and that was the you first. You loved that. Yeah, he loved it. <laughs> yeah, um, that was the first job that we had, and we were friends all above board for like five years. While never crossed the line. Never for... crossed the line, and Kenny dated a plethora of women. <laughs> and, uh, I have a lot of friends that are girls. Yes. Oh, That's is that the what truth. you call it? Yes. Girls. Yeah, girl you guys friends. are my girlfriends, buddies. You get it? I get and, it. Uh, and then it came the time when we were both single, Seriously. and we were like, "Hey, let's let's do this." And that was uh, 21 years. Ago. Yeah, it went just like that too. Oh, let's do just like that. Let's do this. So then let's um, let's switch to. So you guys were obviously actors doing sexy corporate videos <laughs> about harassment, right? Yeah. So, but you've gone, you've come so far. You're next level. And what would you say that when you were starting out, what what's been the biggest surprise about moving on to the next level, and and what has been the biggest challenge? To working, I think you know when 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 you start off. At least when I started off, I realized that I was probably like tenth in line. That there were nine ladies that were ahead of me, that had better resumes, that had been in the game longer, and I knew that if I stuck it out, that you know, a couple of those ladies would go to a different market. Some would die. Some would die, <laughs> <laughs> or like have babies, or change mm -hmm. lifestyles, or whatever, go to the next level. And I knew that one day, if I if I worked hard enough and stayed in the business long enough, that I might be one of the top three to go out and then I would really have a chance and so that's how I kind of started with with my mindset you know it was just basic tenacity mm -hmm. you know what I mean yeah. just um stay with it and at what point because okay so you know we've got Teen Bull yeah and we've got Walking Dead yeah. mm -hmm. and, and we've got Chicago Fire so mm -hmm. at what point and for Kenny for you too did it click where you're like I, I am this I'm is doing it level. Like, I'm I have mm -hmm. accomplished what, what my hmm. my dreams were. Okay. For me, I didn't start working until I was about 30. Tried really hard, got some good opportunities, but didn't get that traction. And so for me, that was the magical number. And Army Wise was my first gig where I could um, come in and just be more than just moving the story along, mm -hmm. actually be part of the story. And that, yeah. was, a, that was a real gift. And, um, you know, talking about having to make choices, um, I had a, a, a recurring monthly gig a corporate gig and of course it comes down to both are shooting on the exact same day one was up in um where were we shooting charleston charlotte wherever it was i think it was charleston, charleston. Mm -hmm. so we so army wives was up in charleston and then like monthly gig was here and it was so good that my co-host had actually done it for seven years once a month for seven years so you know what i'm saying i want a gig like that right who doesn't want that so um, I had to, and it was just the pilot at first, you know, we didn't, you know, you hardly ever know if a recurring role was going to be how reoccurring. So I had to make the chance to, I had to make the um, choice not to show up for the corporate gig, let them know, but not show up for the corporate gig to do the other one. So I lost the corporate gig going on, but then Army Wives turned into something. And so these are the choices that you have to decide when they come to you. Are you ever like, sweetheart, listen, love you. This is not your role, okay? <laughs> this is not your When role. does that not happen? So, no, it happens a lot. So to, to, to your point, when he auditioned for Filthy Rich, which is show, a show that he just wrapped actually in New Orleans, when we were putting it on tape, they were looking for the antithesis of Kenny, right? And so when he was putting it on tape and I was like, gotta oh, love that. Alfonso, Alfonso, no, they're looking for the white dude on this one, Alfonso. They're not looking for you. <laughs> and so when he got the call, I was like, and I and I have been proved wrong. 
you know. So let's talk about some of the things you guys have, uh, you know, coming out. So we've got Filthy Rich. Yes. So mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about that, Kenny, in your role. Uh, Filthy Rich is a, um, a, a dramedy, so to speak, about a um, evangelical family. Uh, it stars Kim Cattrall as the matriarch. Ooh, get it, Kim! Uh, I know. Lots of uh, lots of drama in the family and relatives and um, fighting for for the power that be of a billion dollar uh, operation. Yeah. I think it starts in the uh, in the spring mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. 2020 here, and uh, yeah, it was I so uh, so awesome to be on it and uh, yeah, grateful. Nice. Always, yeah, I just love to be on set mm. and, and well, I can't wait to watch, watch it. <laughs> Hey, Melissa, what are we going to see out of you this year? So, still um, lucky enough to be alive on yeah. Chicago Fire still. That's a lot of fun. And then I just did a very um, nice role on Thunder Force that was shot here nice. in Atlanta with Melissa McCarthy and uh, so her husband, cool. Ben. That's oh, awesome. I love them. And, very cool. Yes, a lip, Octavia Spencer. <gasps> it was yes. amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, apparently, um, Melissa and Octavia have been friends for more than 20 years. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to do a project together, and so they actually wrote this film so they could have, spend time here in Atlanta. And Very Melissa cool. and Ben, they actually, they um, they have a, a production deal with uh, Netflix, and they plan to come back and do more here in Atlanta. And so it was oh, an amazing man. experience. Yeah, uh, so much fun. I need to call so Melissa fun. about that Netflix deal. Yeah. <laughs> this game is Couple called this. Arrogance. Now it's actually very simple. Okay, so you start us off. Ready? And okay. here's your minute. Okay. Go. Chocolate bars. Uh, Hershey's. Oh, rude. Good, eat good something. Uh, Snickers. <laughs> um, good something. Um, One good of my something. favorites. I'm like, nuts. Oh, I need a you good know those something. Mr. Good bars? That yeah. That. That's what I meant. Um, I'm not really good at chocolate bars. Uh, Milky Way. Mm -hmm. um, uh, oh, Heath Bar. Mm -hmm. And then there is um, m and Silk Count. Bar. Uh, oh, Hershey's, did I say that? Is that? Mm -hmm. um, Snickers. It's Snickers. Yep. Three Amigos. What's that? Oh, Three Amigos. <laughs> oh, not Three Amigos. <laughs> Never mind. That's a movie. Ay, 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 ay. Muy bien. Did I say Milky Way? You got 10 seconds or 14 seconds. Did I say seconds. Milky Way? Yes. Just now. Six. Um, Good something and Three Amigos. That was my favorite. Um, crackle. No, Kit Kat. Yep. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Yep, keep going, keep going. That's all I got. That's seven. Got all right. Seven. Greer's got seven. I got seven. All right, so Greer's score is seven. I'm at seven. All right, Melissa, you're ready. What you got? Oh, man. Okay, and all three. Right. What is yours? Playground equipment. Okay, Ooh, three. Okay, okay. Two. <laughs> uh, the, the monkey bars. Monkey bars. Okay. The rings. Yes. The swing. Swing up. A horsey. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> There's another one that does that motion. Oh, a horse, a seesaw. I know. <laughs> a seesaw, the ropes. Yes. I hope somebody's okay. counting. A yes. uh, rock climbing wall. Yep. The hexagon moon thing. Yes. Oh, that, yes. That, 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 yes, 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 that's the, eight. That's the, eight. the thing that you walk across. Okay, what's like, that? Like a, a, like a bar. Like a rope? A beam? A tightrope. Is that on the A <laughs> beam. <laughs> Any of it. A beam. Yeah. A beam. A beam. A beam. Parallel a beam. bars. I've had parallel bars. Okay, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Ten. Um, no. no. Oh, a tire. Oh. <laughs> a tire. tire. That's no, but that thing that goes around and around. Yes. <laughs> what is that? Charades. <laughs> How about like a, um, uh, a thing that you jump she on? Stopped, stopped oh, 11. 11, 11, okay. I'm exhausted watching you. Woo. I am exhausted. That's hard to be. Trampoline! <laughs> Trampoline! <laughs> Not in a lot of playgrounds. So it What is that thing that goes around? You know, the round thing. Whirly with the, bird. With uh, the rail. Yeah, but they all run. And the, the kid gets on it and the other kid runs, runs, runs as fast as they can. And pushes and, and he goes around? It's, it's goes not around and then you jump on it. Merry go round. That's not a merry go round. I had a lot of head injuries on that, so I don't remember what See, it's called. That's, that's All right, 11. 11 is the number of feet. Okay, ready? Insects. Mm. Go for it. Hurry. Okay, okay. is time. it started? Yeah. Oh, geez. Okay, um, roach, spider, um, uh, a cricket. Uh, oh, my gosh. Pulling from that. I know. Rollins, um, Rollins training. Thank you. A uh, worm. Yeah. Uh, right. well, I can't. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I can't. A fly. <laughs> A, a dragonfly? Yes, yes. Um, seven. Oh my, oh my gosh. This one. Uh, uh, a stink bug? Ooh. Yeah. Uh, daddy long legs? Yes! 
Uh, uh, snail? Snail sure. in a sec? We're gonna go with snail. Snail, I like snail. Um, could everybody be quiet? Oh wait, there's no What's noise at one? all. What does this one do? That is a praying mantis. <laughs> And then we have a grasshopper. I said a cricket, same oh, thing. No, nope, not the same thing. That's different. And uh, uh, how many seconds do I have? Nine. A butterfly? Yes. Oh. I love the help, which means a moth. The ones that hang out at picnics. Um, flies, I said flies. Ants. Boom. Oh. 12. He got 12. Yeah. Ants. Yeah. Ants. Okay. All right. I, All right, no, I know mine's just going to be sh yeah. Okay, yeah. just okay. Start it, start it, start it. All right, ready? Three, yeah. two, one. Colors. Oh! <laughs> Blue, oh. green, yellow, red, red, purple, fuchsia, magenta, blah, silver, blah, blah, blah. white, blah, gold, blah, blah, black, Dis disqualification. Gray. Blah, blah, blah. Um, 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 aqua, 13. Rude. Boo. This could be like the 10 run rule. I yeah. think it's so yeah. many, we're out. Oh. All right, you win. Okay. You win. I won. Right. Yay! Yeah. All right. So we have had an amazing time with Kenny and Melissa today. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thank you so much for hanging out yes, with us. Thank with you. Scripted with Beth and Greer because you know what? These moments can't be scripted, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>